skin, big bandage. Hey guys, welcome back to the Acne channel, Pretty Progress 23, aka Elizabeth here. Today's focus is all about how sleep is connected with acne. When I was much younger, I was like, you know what, I can function on three hours of sleep, four hours of sleep, like a normal human being, don't worry, and then I wake up and I look like a bloody zombie. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, yeah, bye. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I just have no capacity to deal with people. I have no patience, I get stressed, I start to get pimples. I, so, from personal experience and extensive research, like, I really wanted to make this video to emphasize the importance of sleep for your skin this is my skin now like there there that i have a pimple sticker there i have red oily skin it's very inflamed even my back and my chest is really inflamed the reason why we need to sleep let me start off with that why do we need to sleep well your body needs to heal so at night when you rest your body lowers down those stress hormones it lowers down what's called the cortisol hormones and that's what calms your nervous system down and allows you to repair okay the wind just shut my door closed but when that lowers you're able to repair those damaged cells on top of your skin your body is able to digest properly it's really a moment for your skin to heal and repair itself but let me outline some of the positive benefits when it comes to sleeping properly with sufficient hours now, the first thing is, if you're giving your body enough rest time for your muscles, your immune system, your gut, your liver, etc. to rest, then the next day you're able to function with a lot of energy. And that means having energy to do things productively, you know, exercising, walking around and increasing that blood circulation. But when you wake up from a lack of sleep, you will feel tired and exhausted and you won't want to do any activities. You'll feel like a vegetable. You'll like, uh, you feel like that, you know, because that was me for so many hours um, the other day when I was like, oh my God, I haven't had enough sleep. Let me sleep in the morning. But the sun's up and it throws your body out of whack. So like when I had a lack of sleep, I didn't want to do anything. And that created a, like my, my blood circulation was stagnant. And that means my body and my skin especially didn't have that renewal of nutrients underneath the skin for it to repair myself. So I started getting really oily skin. More sleep equals more energy allowing circulation because you're going to be doing more activities and you're going to have more energy to do different tasks throughout the day. Another benefit to sleeping efficiently is that you would behave in a socially pleasant way. Like I mean when I don't have sleep I don't want to deal with anybody. I don't, I don't have patience and I feel like when I don't have patience and I burst out into anger due to my lack of sleep, it raises my stress hormone levels and that causes me to build more sebum on top of my face. Sleeping better also allows you to function in a way where you're happier and more relaxed. Also, when you have good sleep, you're able to wake up and intuitively eat because when you lack sleep, what happens is you start to crave a lot of bad junk food or sugary foods to give you that spike of energy level. That was me when I think it was 2 a.m. in the morning and I haven't even slept yet, right? And my body's like, hey, if I'm awake, I need some energy right now because you're obviously not giving me enough energy via sleep. So I need energy in another form and that's through junk food. So I started eating lots and lots of chocolate. I'll show you. I have evidence. So this is one of the best chocolates. But because I lack sleep at 2 a.m. in the morning, I literally ate the whole bloody bar even though it's organic and gluten free is it dairy free no it's not dairy free damn i didn't even check that but um that's what happens i ate the whole bar of chocolate even though it was delicious that's what it looks like so because i didn't sleep properly i started craving all these foods i couldn't eat intuitively because my my mind's not at the right place so when you sleep properly you're able to wake up with a clearer mind to make healthier decisions when you don't sleep properly you will start to have brain fog and your brain gets super super tired and you can't really make rational decisions when it comes to food and what you need to avoid all of these i have a few tips for you guys now the most important tip is make sure you sleep at least seven hours but make sure that it's quality sleep to ensure that you have quality sleep make sure you put your phone away at least one to two hours prior to going to bed because that blue light tricks your mind you know, and it the exposure of blue light causes you to think that that it's daytime it causes you to want to stay up it really disrupts 
those sleeping patterns of yours. So take your phone away, avoid it for at least one hour before bed, and trust me, it makes a difference to your sleeping quality. Um, the next step that I'll use is make sure your blinds are down and that it's actually really dark in your room. Because if you leave the lights on while you're sleeping, again, it's tricking your mind into not feeling tired because the lights are on. It's making you believe that you still need to be active when you shouldn't be. At the same time, when you wake up, make sure you pull those blinds up, make sure it's bright and then make it a habit. So 11 p.m. that's when I'm sleeping, 6 a.m. that's when I'm gonna wake up and have that constant routine and your body will get used to that cycle and it will form a good habit. And then naturally you won't even need an alarm because I remember having quality sleep, naturally waking up at 6 a.m. every single day for school. It's crazy. Another tip that I would suggest for quality sleep is that if you're exerting a lot of energy throughout the day, what you need to do is have power naps. So relive your childhood and focus on having that 20 minute or 30 minute power nap to kind of revitalize your body to prepare you for the other activities that you need to do throughout the day. And then you can sleep your normal seven hours to nine hours that night. The thing is, I made the biggest mistake of my life by sleeping more than 30 minutes. Anything more than 30 minutes actually puts you into deep sleep. And that means you rob yourself from that quality sleep because at night you'll be like, well, I already rested enough. I'm not gonna sleep anymore. You start to have a, a very jarring experience with your sleeping patterns. So make sure no more than 30 minutes power nap. Now, let's be real here. You're not gonna get amazing sleep every single day of your life. Sometimes it's just really hard to avoid, you know, sleeping late. But I've got some remedies for you guys to kind of, it's like a short term, solution to your problem ultimately you want to have good sleep so don't make it a habit if you wake up looking like a zombie and having really bad eye bags what i do is i have my awesome banish pore smasher you pop this in the freezer for 30 minutes and basically the metal stays really really cold and you just kind of roll on your eyes like that and it really soothes that swelling. Because when you lack sleep, you start to look like you've cried overnight and you start to look like a zombie. Trust me, I've been to school because I teach part-time and my colleagues are like, Liz, are you okay? Did you cry? Like, what happened? And I'm like, I just didn't sleep. <laughs> but yeah, definitely look into this pore smasher to calm the inflammation and the swelling of the eyes. Overall, you could also spritz your face with the Banish Beauty Alexa. This is my all-time favorite. I always talk about this. And it's just soothing. It freshens up my face whenever I look like a pale white ghost. <laughs> and it's just, oh, I just love it. Okay, so this is amazing to repair the skin as well. If your sleep is not repairing your skin, the vitamin C in this will kind of help you boost that collagen. But don't rely on it. Have your required amount of sleep. My next one is having this eye serum. These hydrating eye serums allows you to increase that blood circulation around the eyes. So I just do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I do it on this side as well. And basically it rolls. If you can see it like that. So it's really nice. You just roll it here. And it helps you look like less dead, you know? <laughs> And last but not least, if your skin feels very dull and very lifeless, I would recommend using the Banished Pumpkin Mask. Now, the Banished Pumpkin Mask helps you brighten your skin and helps fade those hyperpigmentation that you get from like acne and um, acne scars. So here, this stuff, I use this mostly on my cheeks and my forehead and it really helps brighten up my skin. So yeah. So that's about it guys, um, some of my favorite products I've mentioned already, um, I've left all the information down below in the caption so you can check it out. Anyways, you can find me on Instagram, um, prettyprogress23, I appreciate all your love, your comments and everything. So thank you, thank you so much, it means the world to me. Hope you all have a lovely year, 2019 is going to be so great for you. I'm sending you all my love and light. Mwah. Bye!